Looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. <laughs> if I may say so. Bringing my love, the moon reaches down. 
you accepting a request? Wonderful. Is that true? If I may say so. By all means. Very well, then. Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Oh, yes! Very well, then. Good morning. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work.
you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Oh, hey, uh, morning. You, uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place, too. Well, you know, just psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean, being on time is like the bare minimum job requirement, right? Guess my prospects are looking pretty grim. I overslept like hell. Uh... Whoa, damn it! Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't wanna go in now. What do I do? You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh... Please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please... Dude, for real? I owe you my life, man. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry. I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomochika. Why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Well, uh, you see... I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I'm already pretty late as it is. And it is all my fault. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori?
Well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. Ugh. He has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Hey! Oh, you're looking pretty good. I would have thought you'd been working here for years. Oh, <laughs> I'm not looking to get on the wrong end of Ms. Toriyumi's death glare. My internship ended a little early, so I thought I'd stop by. Looks like you're doing all right. Oh, it's nothing, really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place, too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me, we got time. They said I should take my break now, too. Come on, this is our chance to chill. I don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei Kun. Yori? Aren't you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Yeah, I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry, I'm sure Yori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. 
I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before? But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junpei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... I don't like it. Seeing you... Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. I see. 